How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing good today and welcome to today's video. I've got the base box for, well, the Boxy Charm base box for the month of October. Super stoked about it. I did sneak a peek because I um, exfoliated my skin, washed it, did the most, and I wanted to see whether or not there was a moisturizer in here for me to be able to use. You guys already know this is the $25 base box from BoxyCharm. You're gonna get five full-size items anywhere between one, they keep changing the um, total retail value of like the amount of items in your box. I'm gonna say, 125 to 165 something like that they did send this for me to review for you guys and that's just what it is the card here is on the inside and uh the theme is spellbound i know so many of you guys are not very happy with boxy charm right about now i hear you i feel you um i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know why i tend to apologize even though like i have nothing to do with any of it i'm gonna quickly and briefly go through the items that they featured in my box and then I want to go ahead and give them a try for you guys. I am not feeling off. I'm very thirsty. I feel a little nauseous. I think I may be hungry. Um, no, we are not pregnant, girl. Mm -mm, no, we're not. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of like, maybe putting a little bit of makeup makes me feel a little better. I need to eat something. I haven't had anything to eat. The first item I featured in my box is the Ace Beauty Falling For You palette. We talked about this in a spoiler video. I thought the color story was very pretty. I loved the fact that it had some pops of colors. Uh, clearly, we're going to use this palette in today's video. I'm not going to keep it simple and just go with like your basic go-to that I think everyone will do. Y'all know I try to do what people are not doing. So I'm not going to keep it simple. We're going to um, actually play with some color today. The next item in today's box is the Appeal Adhesive Liquid Liner in Jet Black. I also spoiled this. Um, I didn't think that I would end up getting it, which is actually pretty cool. There are a handful. Can I open this? There are a handful of brands that I like. Kiss has a good one. Lola Lashes has a really good one. So it's exciting. I get to try the Appeal Cosmetics one. Now, I did read you guys' comments in that like spoiler video where I mentioned that I saw that this would be like a, a variation. And you guys were saying that you guys got it in the add-on or like pop-up store and that this was no bueno. Like, so many of you guys said, I bought it, it doesn't work, I don't like it. I don't know. I hope it actually works. I hope it works, but this is, um, it looks like a liquid liner. It has a felt tip, long and short of it, it's going to be the adhesive for your lashes and they actually included a pair of lashes for me. I mean, that makes sense, right? Although I don't need the pair of lashes, but not everyone has the lash adhesive and lashes at home. So it's nice that they actually gave you what to use it for or what to use it with. The brand is Camara A, uh, A Unique. Camara A Unique Beauty, that is a brand new brand for or like to me because I've never heard of them before. This style is very pretty. This is definitely something that I would uh, use. Kind of, it's not heavy, it's fluffy. Will give me that cat eye effect. That's kind of exciting. Although these kind of look like the red cherry lashes. They don't seem to be expensive lashes at all. Or like, you know, these technically, they don't look like they should be anything over like eight bucks. Then we have the Tres Luce Beauty uh, like an artista four piece brush set. So here's the thing. I know that uh, Becky G's brand Tres Luce Beauty I figured it was gonna be featured in a box because I mean Foxy Charm has been hosting or going to events with Becky G So I figured at some point they're gonna be featured in the box and I'll make that face because it's just like so predictable at this point not because there's an issue with um the brand owner or the brand itself. I've never tried the brand before, so I think this would be cool to give it a try. I just feel like brushes though, like I know there are going to be certain items that are gonna like vary. So if you didn't get the brushes, you'll get an eyeshadow palette. If you don't get the eyeshadow palette, there'll be another item that you would get. I just wish that it would have been makeup instead of like another tool. Although all my brushes are freaking dirty right about now. So I'm really happy that I got these because I technically don't have any clean brushes to actually try the eyeshadow palette with. However, at the same time, I would have liked to receive a makeup product by the beauty brand because that's the whole point. Like I wanted to try the brand and be exposed to like one of their formulas or something like that. It would have forced me to have to clean my brushes, but I would have been okay with that. This is what the brushes look like. They're cute. I don't have anything with this like cobalt blue. Um, it has like that NARS rubber but not rubber finish it feels really nice they're nice and simple they're brushes as long as you wash them 
properly and take care of them, they won't remove from the ferrule and you should be okay. They feel soft there and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna disinfect them with my Cinema Secrets solution. And then we'll be able to use these in today's video. But it's cute. I mean, it, it's cute. And then the last item featured in my box is the Tarte uh, C Wink H2O. They're vegan collagen ice cream. I said ice cream. <laughs> Eye cream. I am going to apply this lightly under my eyes. Um, I don't know why, for whatever reason. I knew this was going to be a product being featured, yet my behind. So I was like, oh, moisturizer. Not a moisturizer. I'm going to apply this under my eyes fairly quickly just a little bit dun dun, because I am gonna apply makeup on top and I wanted to say right I've been complaining because when I go like this you can kind of see this little puffiness and I was like oh my goodness like the lack of sleep and all of that is like catching up to me with my eyes because my under eyes are not that dark right so I was like oh my god it's like it's catching up I need to do something and I've been doing all these eye treatments and all that stuff and I don't see like it's going anywhere, right? And then it turns out that um, I was looking at a picture from last year. Ooh, last year, last year. And I realized I already had these like puffiness. I don't know how I haven't noticed it before. I just freaking noticed it. So it kind of is what it is. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm 35. It is what it is. I'm not getting any younger. It's unscented. So I'll tell you that the Tarte eye cream, unscented. It feels really nice under the eyes. It's already drying. So I feel like my foundation and my concealer are gonna look really nice right on top of that. I'm gonna come off screen, moisturize, do the most with my base, and then I'll return so that we can try. I'm happy because we get to try a series, like literally everything. We're gonna try the other four products. Okay, I'm so excited. I did that really, really, really fast. I've been rotating my foundations ever since I did my Declutter 4 foundations. And I'm using my Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation in F12. Love it. And it looks so good. And I feel like I need the additional coverage because I have like some acne scarring going on in my face. So I'm excited. I'm excited that I did that declutter. So for base on my eyes, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Primer. The eye base in fair. Now for the eyeshadow palette, here we go. What are we going to do today? I feel as though I want to go bright like I said. So I'm going to go into Candy Corn, this fire red. It's like a red orange, super bright. Now Ace Beauty has some really nice formulas. I don't feel like I've never been impressed. I think I've always been impressed with their formulas. So I'm patting in place. That's another trick that I do with my bright colors. I like to pat it because your base is going to grab whatever you're putting in, in that location. So I pat it first. That also helps set your base. And then eventually I'll blend out with whatever's left on my brush. Okay, now we're blending. So I'm gonna use their B101 brush. It's a smaller blending brush. It's clean, it has no additional product. And I really wanna diffuse this here. The brushes are performing really well, so that makes me happy. And honestly, this eyeshadow palette is like everything. I've diffused it enough. I might want to go in and pack on a little more color. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens next. Let's see. And then I'm going to use Persimmon because it's the next really bright, vibrant color on here. And we're going to pat Persimmon on the inner corner. Bring it up to the crease. Now looking at it, this is very October. <laughs> very, very October. You know what, no, I'm not gonna go in with that first shade again. I'm actually gonna go dark, but I need another brush for that, hold on. I grabbed another brush because just these, this four piece is not gonna do it for me. I'm gonna use Chestnut, which is the darkest shade. Tap out, and I'm gonna pop Chestnut very lightly out here. Now, here's the thing. I'm also going to just, mm, because I don't want Chestnut to take over. Diffusing Chestnut in the outer corner. And we're gonna wing this out and everything. There we go, see this makes me happy. Okay, cool, I'm gonna move on, make this eye match, and I'll be right back. Going on with the eyeshadow, I feel like I wanna go in with chestnut again, tap out, only drag that on the outer portion of the eyes fairly lightly. We're not trying to darken this up either. I know it's October, Halloween month, but it ain't that serious, and we're not gonna get that crazy. It's crazy enough that we're going nice and bright. Cool, we're gonna blend that out though. And then I'm gonna use the, uh, is this the very last brush that I haven't used from the Tres Luce brush quad. Brush quad, quad. 
brush set. We are gonna go in to candy corn because why not? We're gonna drag that on the inner corner of the eye and then we're gonna bring it under that darker shade. Now here's the kicker. Every makeup artist, okay, it's not just me. Every makeup artist can have any tool known to man and say, I swear by these and still use their fingers because your favorite tools, like the best tools you'll ever have, are your fingers. They use it to blend creams, they use it to blend highlighters, they use it for foundation, concealer. So then I am going to take my finger and lightly drag that eyeshadow back and forth. That's gonna give me the blend that I want. It's not gonna overdo it. It's not gonna apply additional product and it's gonna diffuse at the same time. I applied a black liner on my waterline, a little bit of mascara at the top and bottom latches. Now we're gonna try the Appeal Adhesive Liquid Liner. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited but I'm nervous because so far I like everything in my box. This box is fire, five stars so far. I don't wanna mess that up. Mm, ready? Moment of truth. I mean, she works, okay? She worked instantly. I didn't have to wait two or three seconds, anything. I literally just went in, popped it on, and she did the most. The one thing that I don't like, and I just have to be honest, I don't like that it has that shiny finish. To me, that's kind of annoying. And here is the completed look. I paired it with like a nudie pink combination that I put together. I just kind of made it up as I went and I think it looked really nice. Now here's the thing. I liked everything in my box like I mentioned earlier. I think this box is a five star full on fire variation. The only thing that I will say is, although I don't like the like shimmer, like how shiny the finish of this appeal liner adhesive is, it worked. So it kind of is what it is. It's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. But I'm curious to see how long it's gonna last before it completely dries out. I've had brands that I liked and then they dried out within like three uses. I think this box is totally worth the $25 that we would pay for it. I honestly think that at this point, this box is like balls. And if you're looking to just keep one, I would keep the $25 box. So that is definitely something to consider. Now I wanna hear you guys' thoughts on every single item I featured in today's video featured in my variation. I wanna hear what you guys think on how I executed the look, how they were working in action. Would you be happy with this variation? Chime in in the comment section down below. Thank you for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.